Today I want to show you one of the best things that I have ever seen in terms of math being shown on TV. Because you know that every time that a TV show or a movie tries to do something with math, they tend to do a terrible job of it. But instead of sitting here and complaining, I wanted to show you something that is really good. So here's a scene from the show Modern Family. I believe it's season 10, episode 17. And the context of the scene is that they are trying to help this pizza delivery guy with a large order that he needs to get to the house very fast. And there are a bunch of crazy obstacles along the way, but they manage to get through all that, except that in all of the confusion, one of the 10 pizzas flies out the window. But then the character has an idea. And what follows here is 20 seconds of a brilliant explanation of how they went about making it so that nine pizzas ended up looking like 10 pizzas, so everybody was happy. And that scene is really, really good. I'm going to show it to you, but before I do, I want to explain myself what is going on with the pizzas because she does it in only 20 seconds. That's not enough time for you to understand it. But I want you to go into the scene already understanding it because you need that to fully appreciate how well done this actually was. If you're not prepared, it's just going to feel like blah, 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 mathematical nonsense, so funny, but it's not. Like everything that she's saying is perfectly correct and that's why I think this scene is so good. Okay, so here's kind of what's going on. Ignore the blue and the black, just look at the red. This is supposed to be a circular sector. In other words, a slice of pizza. And in the story, each pizza was cut into 10 slices. So we're gonna talk about what is the angle down here of each circular sector, because if you think of the whole circle, the whole pizza, that is 360 degrees. If you're cutting it into 10 slices, each slice is going to have 36 degrees as an angle. And because I want to think about half of a slice, I'm going to just put a number 18 here. So that's the angle of half of the pizza slice. I've also put 20 centimeters as the radius of the circular sector because I think that that's an usual size for a pizza. But if you're planning on doing this with an actual pizza, then by all means, please measure your pizza first before deciding on the radius. Um, and the thing is that they now don't have enough slices for 10 pizzas. They only have nine pizzas with 10 slices each. So that's 90 slices altogether. And they want to rearrange that somehow in order to make 10 pizzas, which means that each pizza is going to have nine slices. So nine times 10 or 10 times nine, that's 90 anyway. So we're going to use all of the slices of the pizzas. We are just going to rearrange them in a way that instead of nine pizzas with 10, it's going to be 10 pizzas with nine. But in order for that to actually look like a pizza, like a full circle instead of like a pizza missing a piece, the angle of each circular sector that is the pizza slice needs to change. And again, the whole circle, the whole pizza is 360 degrees. But if you're cutting that 360 into nine equal slices, now that is 40 degrees for each sector because 40 times nine is 360. And by the way, this is why we use 360 as a measure for a full circle. Uh, 360 is just a number that has a lot of divisors. So it's kind of easy to cut a full circle into um, integer amount of equal parts. Anyway, I've put 20 in there again, which is half of the 40, which is the full slice. That's because I kind of want to think about this little triangle here on this side and this is the part that she didn't really explain in 20 seconds but i was thinking how did she know um where to cut the idea for the rearrangement of all the pizzas is that the 90 pieces that she has are the red ones and then she's going to cut a little piece out of each one of those 90 pizzas making it into the blue slices and then the blue slices have 40 degrees as an angle here so they can be arranged into the 10 pizzas with nine slices of 40 degrees each that's what she's doing but she didn't go into any detail as to how does she know where to cut and i think that the important thing to measure here is this black vertical segment 
because if she knows how far from the tip of the slice she needs to cut, then she can just cut it here and then sort of like cut a straight line segment to the corner of the slice. This is how I imagine she is doing this. So anyway, I want to use this triangle to measure this vertical segment here. So X is the thing that I want to measure. R is the radius of the new pizza. The original one was 20 centimeters because I'm imagining that she measured it. And this diagram is even more out of scale than my original one, okay? 18 and 20 degrees visually don't have any difference that you can see, but here I've made them very different because I want to be able to work with this diagram mathematically, right? And when the triangle looks this much stretched out like this, long and thin, it's not really useful as a mathematical diagram. So that is why we usually don't try to draw things to scale. And this one is very much not to scale. I am probably not going to need to find the new radius of the pizza. I just put it there because I thought it was relevant information. So how are we going to measure X, which is how far away from the corner of the pizza do you need to cut? Uh, so this angle is 20 degrees, which means that this other one here inside of the triangle needs to be 160 degrees. And now the thing is that I want to use the sine rule because 20 is right in front of 160, but I still don't have the angle that I need because the X, which I want to measure, is not in front of the 18, right? It's adjacent to the 18. So the angle that I actually need is that one over there, which is just two degrees in order for the sum of all the three angles in the triangle to be 180. It is a very, very small angle, but that's okay. Let's do the sine rule. And the answer is 2.04 centimeters. Uh, if you want to keep to the three significant figures, convention that we as IB students are used to. But of course, if you're cutting pizza in a car, then that's just two centimeters, which is nice. It came to a very round number. I hope she had her calculator in her purse when all of this was going on because I did it in my TI-84. So now that we've talked about all that, let's watch the scene from Modern Family. Turning nine pizzas into ten was a simple matter of removing one slice from each pie, then trimming off a V-shaped portion of pizza from each of the remaining slices, turning them from 36-degree angles to 40-degree angles, then putting together the 40-degree angles into nine slightly smaller pies. After that, one had only to repurpose the nine previously removed slices into a tenth pie. And the other comment that I want to make at this point is that if you plan on ever trying this out on actual pizza, I think that 10 is a terrible number, okay? Who wants to cut a pizza into 10 slices? But you might want to cut a pizza into six slices, which is kind of easy to do, uh, and then change the six slices into five slices in order to make a pizza with five slightly smaller slices. Uh, that would kind of simulate a similar situation in which you were originally delivering six pizzas, lost one of them out the window, and then out of the five remaining pizzas, you want to make six because five pizzas with six slices, that's 30 slices. You can make six pizzas of five slices. In that case, it's exactly the same setup. You just need to calculate again with the angles to see how far you would have to cut from the corner of each slice. So in that case, here is how all the numbers change. The original 360 degrees pizza cut into six slices, each slice has 60 degree angle. Half of that is 30 degrees that we put here. And after we change that in order for the pizza to only have five slices, it's five slices of 72 degrees each. Half of that is 36 degrees here. So the other side is 144. Now, in order to close the triangle, we need six degrees over there, change all the numbers in the sign rule, and you end up having to cut 3.56 centimeters away from the corner of the slice. A little bit uglier number than before, but that's okay, three and a half centimeters.
cherry sauce. Now, obviously, cutting this out of an actual pizza was a very, very messy thing to do. I don't really recommend it. Um, but if you want to turn this into a classroom activity, it works quite well if you're just cutting paper with a printout of a pizza. So she did mention in the scene that the new pizza was slightly smaller than the old pizza. And if you would like to calculate exactly how much smaller, then the thing that you're looking for is this, the new radius of the pizza, which you will also find by using the sign rule. You have to change it over there because the radius is now opposite to the angle of 30 degrees in this picture. Another interesting thing that you might want to calculate in this situation is exactly how much pizza was wasted in the whole process. It's all of those little bits of pizza that I ended up cutting from all the slices. And if you want to calculate that, it's going to be the area of this triangle multiplied by however many pieces it is. So it's two of the triangles for each slice of pizza. And in my example, I was working with 30 slices. I'm not going to go through all of the calculation here, but if you actually do that and calculate all of the area that was lost from all of the little bits of pizza, it turns out to be almost an entire new pizza. It's an interesting calculation to make. But we also have to be careful when calling this the new radius of the pizza because the new pizza is actually not a circle. The new slices of pizza are not perfectly circular sectors because the red one, the original one, was a circular sector with radius 20. And then when I changed it to cut to the blue one, the outside part of the pizza did not change. So if you were to draw a circle here with this center and this blue radius, the thing would not go perfectly exactly the same as that red one over there. The fewer slices that you're cutting the pizza in, the easier it is to see with your eyes the difference between that and a perfect circle. With 10, it would be impossible to see. It's questionable whether you can see it with six or not. But in a more extreme case where it would be four slices being changed into three, then it's very clear to see that this is not a circle. This image that I'm showing you now is from a file where at one point in my life I did type all of this up for a class that I was working with. So I'm going to link that PDF file in the description in case you want to read it. And the whole thing reminds me of a very typical type of exercise, even though we didn't exactly do this at any point during the pizza thing. Um, it reminds me of a very typical type of exercise, which is to calculate the area of a circular segment like that. A circular segment is a type of shape that is uh, the difference between a sector and a triangle, right? So it's everything that is inside of the sector, but still outside of this triangle. It's like it was the crust of the pizza if you were to cut it in a um, horizontal way. So the way to calculate this kind of area is to calculate the circular sector by using the formula that we have for it and then subtracting the area of the triangle for which we also have a formula. I'm not going to do this now because it's such a typical type of exercise that I've even already talked about it in a previous video. So instead, I'm just going to show you a clip from that. So we're going to start with this. It's a typical area problem. If I were to ask you, for example, for the area of this sector, then there is not much to do. That is just the area of the circle divided by four because that sector is one quarter of the circle. If I asked you for the area of a different sector, then you would have to know the angle of the sector right here. And then there is a formula for that area. And it's very common for this type of exercise to ask you not just for the area of the sector, but to make a different shape using the pieces of the picture. Like for example, this green area here, how would you calculate this area? And the typical approach to that is to say that the green area is the blue sector minus a triangle that is this triangle here. And we also have a formula for finding the area of a triangle. So we're going to be using these two formulas today as well. Uh, we simplify a problem if we just say that the radius of the circle is one so that you don't have this part here or these parts so that the green area in the picture is just theta minus sine theta over two. 
which is really not surprising. You've probably seen this exact same problem before. It's very, very common. That very typical exercise is almost the same as we're going to do today. I want to still keep the 90 degree angle that I had here in my original quarter circle area that I asked you, but I want to put it someplace else. I want to put that 90 degree right here and ask to calculate the area of this shape here. And that second exercise that I started mentioning in that other video, although it kind of looks like the pizza thing because it's not exactly a circular sector, it also wouldn't be exactly relevant to this video, so I'm not going to do it now, but I do it in the other video. So if you want to watch it, it's linked in the description here. For now, I just want to mention that this is uh, actually a very important type of exercise for you to know and be familiar with because it appears quite often in IB questions as well. For example, there is this one where they describe in a little story that a company wants to design a new logo and they want to talk about the area of the logo, which is the part that I painted in orange here. And the starting point to solving this exercise is to recognize the circular segment right here. There's another one exactly like it in the other side, but then you can just multiply by two in the end. And it's one of those backwards questions where you do have this number two here, but you don't have the angle theta. You want to find theta in the end. What you do have is a 13.4, if I remember correctly, as the total orange area of the logo. But the fact that the problem is backwards shouldn't make any difference in how you approach it. It is a circular segment, so you're supposed to recognize it and know that it is a circular sector minus a triangle and that's what you're going to write so the green area is the circular sector minus the triangle i am just applying the two formulas by plugging in the number two where it's convenient and i don't have a value for the angle theta but that doesn't change my strategy in the least i just leave it as theta where it would be in the formula there is a bunch of things to simplify here. One of these twos is going to cancel out with this one. And one of those twos is going to cancel out with that one. And then you finish up the problem by putting the 13.4, which is the orange area, equals 20 minus the two segments, where 20 is the area of this rectangle that he originally gave us as 4 times 5. And that's it, because green is this thing here. So you plug it in here, you get a little equation in the variable theta. You solve it and find the value of theta, which was what the question was asking for.